Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to my channel, and glad to see all you guys here today. And today we are going to talk about how to determine the phase for a given substance. Say, if it's H2O, will that be in gas phase or in liquid phase at a given temperature or pressure? So let's get it started. All right, then in order to determine the phase in thermodynamics, we are going to use vapor pressure curve. So the y-axis is a pressure and x-axis is a temperature. And we draw a curve like this and we call it as vapor pressure curve. Then you may be curious how it comes from. Well, in previous video, we discussed thermal EOS. So this is y-axis pressure, x-axis volume, and z-axis is going to be temperature. Then if you look downward for the top view, then it's going to be a dome. Then if you look the front view, then it's going to be a dome as well. And if you look from the right, so in that case, your x-axis is going to be temperature, y-axis is going to be pressure, then it's going to be accumulated as a, a curve. So this is how this vapor pressure curve comes from. If it's on the dome or right under the dome, so it's going to be saturated. So if it's accumulated means any point, if it's on the curve, then it's going to be saturated. And if it's above the curve, it's going to be compressed liquid, such as here. And if it's below the curve, it's going to be superheated vapor. So as long as it's on the curve, it's saturated. Above the curve, it's liquid. And below the curve, that's gas. All right. Then let's take a look. If it's above the curve, it's a liquid phase. Then for liquid, we are going to use incompressible assumption. So think about it. For liquid, then it's probably not going to be able to compress much. So we are going to use incompressible assumption, which means the substance is no longer depending on the pressure. So it's going to be only depending on the temperature. Then think about the table that we have discussed. So we are going to use our table A4, which is at a certain temperature for each property. So not going to be A5 because that one is at a given pressure. So if it's incompressible assumption, so the property of that substance is no longer depending on the pressure. However, if you are below the curve, then it's going to be superheated gas. Then for gas phase, you could take advantage of ideal gas law. If the pressure and the temperature is not too high, Say, if the pressure is in kPa, not megapascal, and if the temperature is no more than 500 degrees C, then you could use ideal gas law. Otherwise, you will need to look up table A6. If you forgot all these tables, so let's briefly take a look. And those are the tables that we discussed. So for table A4, it's saturated H2O with a given temperature and a screw down. And for table A5, so it's saturated H2O as well, but at a given pressure. So that's why we said if it's compressed liquid, then we use incompressible assumption. So the property won't be depending on the pressure anymore it's only depending on the temperature. So that's why we use table A4. Then if it's below the curve, then we are going to use table A6. At a given pressure and a given temperature, we can look up the corresponding properties. And this is table A6. So let's take a look at some uh, examples. 
All right, back to our slides. So the example says, find out the specific volume. The substance is H2O, but we no longer know the phase. So we have to determine the phase first. By looking at the first one, the temperature is 80 degrees C. So intuitively, you may think, oh, it's in liquid phase. <laughs> well, take a look. And the similar thing for the third one, when the temperature is 120 degrees C, you may think, oh, it's in gas phase. Well, we'll take a look. Okay, then let's take a look at one by one. So the first one, it says the pressure is 40 kPa, the temperature is 80 degrees C. So you could use any property. So I'm going to use the temperature ones first. However, you could use the pressure one. Your result is going to be the same. Then we are going to draw a vapor pressure curve. T is at the top, T is at the bottom. Then the temperature is 80 degrees C here. Then by looking up the property table, if we know the temperature, we go to table A4. Then the corresponding saturation pressure is 47. However, the pressure we have is 40 kPa, so we are below. And if you draw another line, so we are actually under the curve, then we are in gas phase. And the temperature and the pressure, they are not super high, so we could just use ideal gas law. Turns out to be our specific volume is this number. So 80 degrees of H2O, sometimes it could be in gas phase. All right, let's take a look at the second one. H2O, when the pressure is 10 megapascal and the temperature is 100 degrees C. So let's take a look. So we are going to draw the vapor pressure curve first. Pressure is at the top, temperature is at the bottom. Our temperature is 100 degrees C. And if you look up table A4, then the corresponding pressure is 101 kPa. And we are at 10 megapascal. So we are way above. So we are in the liquid phase. So if it's a liquid phase, we are going to use incompressible meaning the property won't be depending on the pressure anymore. So we'll only be depending on the temperature. So we look up for table A4. Then when temperature is 100 degrees C, the specific volume, uh, since it's a liquid phase, so we are looking for V sub F in table A4. That's our specific volume. It's this number here. Then let's take a look at the third one. Still H2O when the pressure is 220 kPa and the temperature is 120 degrees C. Let's see if it's going to be in gas phase. All right, so still start drawing a vapor pressure curve. P is at the top, P is at the bottom. By using table A4, when the temperature is 120 degrees C, the saturation pressure is 190 kPa, and our pressure is at 220, so we are above. It's a liquid phase, so we use incompressible assumption, meaning the property is only be depending on the temperature and not depending on the pressure anymore. So by locking up A4, when the temperature is 120, the specific volume equals to the specific volume in liquid phase, which is V sub F, then this is the answer. So when the temperature is 120, the phase still could be in liquid phase. Next one for H2O, the pressure is 4.5 megapascal and the temperature is 275 degrees C. Let's take a look. So we still draw the vapor pressure curve. Now when the temperature is at 275, the saturation pressure is 5,946 kPa from table A4. 
the our pressure is 4500 so we are below so we are in gas phase then let's think about if we can use ideal gas law or not so look at the pressure it's 4.5 megapascal so it's big so we probably can't use ideal gas law then we would have to look up table A6 for superheated gas. So if you look up table A6, when the pressure is 4.5 megapascal and when the temperature is at 275, the corresponding specific volume is 0 0.04733 meter cube per kilogram. So when the temperature or pressure, if they're high, then we cannot use ideal gas law. So look up for table A6. Next one, let's take a look at when H2O at the pressure 225 kPa and the temperature is at 147 degrees C. So we still start off drawing a vapor pressure curve. Then if we're still looking for the temperature at 147, so from table A4, we know this temperature is not on table A4. So if you still want to use this temperature, you would have to use interpolation. So other than using temperature, let's try the pressure. So if we know the pressure, 225 kPa, let's try table A5. So from table A5, when the pressure is 225, the corresponding temperature is 124 degrees C. The hour temperature is on the right, so we are in gas phase. Then let's think about ideal gas law. So the pressure and the temperature, they're not high, so we could use ideal gas law. Turns out to be our specific volume is this number here. So thus are the examples of how to determine a phase. Did you get it? All right, so we have more problems for you to practice. See if you can get the right answer. Then this is all we have for today's part. Hope you learn a lot. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye.